So as you can probably tell from my beautiful surroundings, I'm staying away tonight in a hotel. And since I've been self-employed, I have to spend a lot of my time on my own, kind of working alone, whether that be at home or away. Uh, about 50% of the time, I think. And it's a bit of a problem for me. But primarily, it's a problem because for me to show up at my best, and to become my most creative and capable, I need the energy and the noise of other people around me. And secondly, when I spend a lot of time on my own, I have a tendency to get in my own head a little bit. A lot of my self-doubts and negative self-talk can overcrowd my head, even though I know that they're complete nonsense. They can overwhelm me and they can sometimes stop me doing some of the important stuff I need to be doing. So as a result, I've had to sort of learn the patterns for myself. I've learned what it is I can do on my own and what it is I need to do in the company of others, or sometimes just in a different place from the, the home desk that I have. And primarily it's creative stuff. Um, unless I've really scripted something out heavily, I can't really do it at home. And also anything that is procrastinatable, if that's even a word. So something I will tend to avoid doing, I find much easier to do in the company of others. To be honest, even if that's just walking down to the Cafe Nero up the road from me and sitting in there, just that bit of noise and that bit of company seems to make all the difference to me. But what about you? What are the patterns that you need that, you know, to organise yourself around and for your people for that matter that, that may occasionally work at home. Are, are you clear that that is the best use of their time given the things that they have to do? But there's another element to loneliness that I think is important for business leaders and that is whether you're around people or not. Being in a leadership position itself can be lonely. So it is really important that you have people you can talk to, preferably people that don't have or that aren't invested in your outcomes and your situations, that you can bounce ideas off, that you can be challenged by. I believe that's really important to have those people you turn to. And it's probably why the experiences I run in my leverage leadership work now include a lot of group work because I think it's healthy to develop a network of people on the same journey as you that aren't necessarily invested in you. So it might be helpful for you to just write a list of the tasks that you are well suited to doing on your own and those that you need to be around other people and make sure that you always organize yourself around that as a principle. 